Is, a, is why I'm saying why you should come out of the Black Hebrew Israelite uh, movement, specifically camps, especially, um, but also out of this lost black community mindset. Watch this right quick, a little 12-second clip. This is what most people saw as people were sharing it. This is the type of stuff that they might see from somebody and they need to understand that this is not how you act in the Lord um, and that this is evil. All right, let's go ahead and play this video right quick. No, 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 in the comment section is very interesting because you know of course you got people like it doesn't matter what she does you should never put your hands on a woman and things like that um now we talk about the police and i know this gets real not necessarily controversy but i guess in today's age it would be controversy um my stance is it's really the scriptural stance the police and these law enforcement officers of the sword of god their go their, their job the lord has put them there to render punishment upon those that do evil. Whether you are a woman, whether you are a man, whether you are a... She really just, I got nine in. This is like it too when a woman is all in a man's face, everybody's just staring and looking as she slaps, push, beat on a man, and a man just standing there. Nobody jumps in and says, Hey, sis, stop hitting that man. That's disrespect. Nobody does that. And they just sit there. And then the moment the man turns around and whoop and give her that unholy slap, when he does that, then all of a sudden everybody jumps in. And everybody jumps on this man, he shouldn't have done this, he shouldn't have done that, and they had so much opportunity to stop this woman from getting the, the even though he might have done evil, the just judgment from God for her evil, uh, before it came upon her, they had so much opportunity to say, stop it, or the Jews, or the real Jews, and that white people is Esau, that God hates them, there's no salvation for them, they're going to be destroyed. They're going to use Obadiah 118, these other passages to talk about this. This is that poison of the black Hebrews like movement. It had poisons, the further poisons, because they ain't like these people were upright in the first place. It ain't like the sister was fearing God, keeping God's commandments prior to coming in contact with this movement. So I've seen Christians act just like this because it ain't really about the title. It ain't about, oh, it's because you a black Hebrew Israelite. Oh, it's because you're a Christian. Because the black Hebrew Israelites would make a counter video, play a video of a Christian doing the same kind of stuff, and then they say, see, Christianity got you messed up. They say stuff like that. So I can see this video be like, man, it's this poison of the doctrine in the black Hebrew Israelite movement. They'll, they'll watch a Christian do it, and they'll be like, it's that poison in the Christian church. They'll say the same thing. Because though they may be in the black Hebrew Israelite and she got fringes on and hair wrap, and you might have this out of order Christian that don't got no hair wrap, don't wear no fringes, or in church all the time, but they both act the same way. It's because they go in different places and got different titles. They're both slaves to the same master. And it's because of the terrible teaching on that end and the terrible teaching on that end. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Arucha Ha Kwadash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Also honors to you other brother and you followers of the truth. Even you few sisters that support the truth and you other fellow uh, followers of the truth. And mainly let me say shalom to the elect. Anyway, I want to go on this video here. I believe this guy's an ex 
IUIC bandit. <laughs> uh, I think his name is Brother Brother Jay, Jay the producer or something like that. I actually did a commentary earlier, but I didn't know. As I start looking at the video, I said, "Oh, that's Brother Jay." So anyway, I had to do the video over. So Brother Jay is um he's kind of in between certain Christian churches. Basically, he's back into Christianity, but he's against uh, being a Hebrew Israelite. I believe he was in formerly in um, IUIC. So I don't really know how you can be in um, the truth like that. And then you go, I guess you go where you go, right? In fact, let me get a scripture that something just came to mind. I think the the name of the lesson, I mean, the name of the video, um, his, his, he's, he got something called the church in Texas. That's his screen channel. It's called the church in Texas. Let's get a scripture. Luke 11 and 26. Well, 24. Luke 11 and 24. It says, well, let me go to 23. It says, he that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth. So he's, he's definitely against the Lord, you know. It says, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, right, he walketh through dry places seeking rest, okay, and findeth none, he saith, I will return unto my house whence I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh to himself take to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they enter in and they dwell there and the last state of that man is worse than the first so this man this is why it was quoted i believe in peter also in proverbs that is better for a man not to know the way than to lose to lose to, to lose it it was better not to even know it right and it goes on to say that a dog returneth to his vomit. And this is what happened when you fall out the truth. Then you try to, you know the Christian church is phony because you've learned out of it. So then you sit stuck in the middle. Then you take of yourself seven more spirits more wicked than, than what you had before. So now this is why this guy is calling the Israelites the black Hebrew Israelites. Knowing he was a Hebrew Israelite, knowing that he wasn't called being called a black Hebrew Israelite. I believe this is that guy that uh, that uh, Jada producer or whatever he's did work with Vocab Malone or whatever. So anyway, this video was going into the woman, which I covered that video. He should know that women wearing dresses and uh, blue garments. I mean, blue borders of blue uh, doesn't make you righteous. There's a lot of wicked people that come into the truth, right? And he goes on to say the Christian church would do a, uh, he's just trying to do a Christian cleanup that, you know, we'll do a video on a Christian say, see, they, they're just as wicked. But then he talks about their doctrine. Then you know what? Why don't you try to clean up the Christian church and get the Christian church on board, man, with your doctrine? The problem with the Christian, Christian church is the Christian church say you're delivered, you're saved. That's what they teach. So it's crazy how these guys that used to be Israelites, they learned a lot of scriptures from being in the schools. Then they take it amongst themselves and go teach a new doctrine, you know, and make themselves more wicked than they were before. And then they try to teach a, teach a new doctrine because they learn from being a Hebrew Israelite to come against Hebrew Israelites. And it never works. That's why he sits up here on these podcasts or whatever he does and uh, gets a following right anyway this guy goes on to say that the cops see this is a little bit what he tries to learn from the truth he goes on to say the cops the, the most high sent the police as weapons to conquer evil <laughs> where did he get that from no they're set up on the left hand side to keep order in a wicked society on the left hand side that's their job 
to keep to keep order to the elites. That's what them shields are for that they wear, man. What the heck is he talking about? Let's go to numbers. This is a guy that would just throw out his heritage. He doesn't care, man. As long as he can live comfortably. This is why uh, he talks about they're set up to throw out evil. Numbers the, uh, to cast out evil. They are set up as uh, to do the things that they do, even commit evil, yeah. But they're set up for a purpose. And the Most High set them up. Because why? Esau has been blessed with the sword. Right? That's the blessing that they have at this point, which they're losing. Anyway, Numbers 35, 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but the by the blood of him that shed it. Right? So out of the bloodshed came uh, a judicial system, came a, a policing system, which is all linked a religious system, a military, and everything else you see. And how, did it get, how is it set up? Just like this. So this, these guys, this guy, Brother Jay, has the nerve to say that the, the Lord, because this is some things he learned from in the truth, but he's still off. Yeah, the Lord set him up. But he didn't set them up on the right-hand side, man. That's because guys like this, that's why they, 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 the fear of the Lord ain't in him. That's why he swindled, swindled, you know, his his, his tail back to, back into the Christian church or in in between, so to speak. Right. So anyway, it's the curses. He should know that. Deuteronomy twenty eight nineteen: Curse shalt thou be when thou comest in, and curse shalt thou be when thou goest out. All these are curses, and we're not saved yet, right? We're not delivered, nor are we saved. So yes, they are curses. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 17, because they're in the store fighting and acting like wild animals as women. That's not anything we teach. So you, what these guys doing is linking whatever behavior from another group or women or whatever they're doing to the whole Israelite community. Guess what? You're going to have Israelite men who get into it. Now you go back in the history... It was wars anyway. What did these guys read the Bible? <laughs> did they understand the scriptures? Anyway, curse shall thou be in the bat in thy basket store, right? So, even in ancient times, you had splits and various things like that. You had arguments. You know, I'm sure we had fights and certain things like that, man. But at the end of the day, we you can't blame the actions on a few women with a border of blue on everybody that's an Israelite. This happens in, in, in all shapes and forms and sizes. But the, the difference is the Christian church, they're supposed to be in the temple, the house of God, and they're fighting and extorting and stealing money. They're molesting and they're committing adultery and they're sleeping with other men's wives. That's a whole different program there, man. So he says it's doctrine related. No, the doctrine don't even teach anything like that. The doctrine don't teach to go in the store <laughs> and go uh, uh, fight your sister in the store while the police is there and then kicking and having a fit against the police. I mean, before, and he's saying this is camps. How we know these women in camps? When I first came into the truth, I was kind of wild, man. I didn't, wasn't in no camp. And I might even still believe in wearing a garment. Everybody that come in is wild. You know, that's how it is. You, you still cleansing yourself, man. Matthew 5, 25. Agree with thine adversary quickly while thou in the way with him. See, this is what a, a sister who understood the truth would know. And secondly, she wouldn't be behaving like that. Let's say any time that adversary deliver thee to the judge and the judge deliver thee to the officer and thou be cast into prison. Okay. So um, this guy, brother Jade, the producer, you know, he needs to focus more on clean up house with the churches, the Christian church with 
drug activity on every corner of the Christian church. You know, if the Christian church and the black community, so-called black communities are in the worst rundown neighborhoods that you can find. They don't put them Christian churches in nice, great suburban neighborhoods. You might find one. But for the most part, all of those store, store corner church, Christian churches, they're deep in the ghetto, deep in the rat and roach infested environments and dust and pollution. And then they got the liquor store across the street selling you liquor 50% off, not so you can buy the good liquor. They'll ship all the garbage liquor to the communities just so all the black people, in this, uh, black and Hispanic people, so-called in those community, communities can drink the garbage, even the food. So they put you in this situation where you're not financially able to meet the needs of your nutrition or your... Um, your housing, right? So what they do, they give you a, a raggedy house, right? They give, they give you messed up stores with garbage food, garbage liquor, drugs on the corner, so you're set to be doomed. And this is what we know about being Israelites, man. No matter if this woman went off whatever kind of way she did, I don't know. I don't know her. But to know who your enemy is is a plus. And it's a shame that a guy that knew who the enemy was went right on back to sleep and took himself seven more spirits more wicked than before. Anyway, that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what these, these, uh, these guys, they're so concerned because he's mad with the Hebrew Israelites that now he's got to post up and do videos, which I did videos on this guy before. It's, it's what it is. But I'm just responding because of the video I did recently with this Hebrew Israelite. And what do we do? We do videos on this. I actually did a video on this lady acting like a fool that's supposed to be an Hebrew Israelite. When are the church going to rebuke other churches, man? When are the Christians going to rebuke other Christians in the face of white Jesus, man? When is that going to happen? When are you guys going to stand up and rebuke what's going on in your communities was going on into those Christian churches, all the adultery, molestation, pedophilia, right? The thievery, extortion, right? Deceit and everything that the scriptures is against is in those Christian churches. This man can sit here and do a panel and look up every Christian church in the United States in every city. And he could do a video every day for years on particular churches, two, three, four videos in one church. But he won't do that. Why? Because he's bitter about being a Hebrew Israelite. He doesn't doesn't have it anymore. The Most High took it from him. And at the end of the day, the Bible was only for the Israelites anyway. So when we rebuke and we correct, we only really rebuking and correcting the Israelites anyway. We show and we do. I do videos on the Christian church because of what the Christian church promotes. Sure, this woman scrapping around, acting like a fool in the, in the, in the store. But the Christian church says that you don't have to follow the laws at all, which means they're not following the first commandment, right? Because they're not loving the Lord with all their heart if they're not trying, right? And they're saying you can do what you want. And they are committing all kind of adulter adulterous and abominable behaviors in the churches. That's what it is. So if you see an Israelite do that, he has nothing to do with us. And guess what? We'll do a video on it. When are you going to do a video on the Christian church, man, and how wicked they are? Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom.